welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to um, take you out and show you my milk jugs. I have 214 of them and some of them are sprouting. So I originally had this part of the video up with my other one but I had a little bit of a problem with the sound so I'm going to try again and I'll show you um, some of my milk jugs that are sprouted and up. I actually have quite a few. So I'm going to take you along and I'm going to show you what they look like and hopefully be able to see that yes it really does work and here it is. Well it was videotaped in March. It would have been on the 21st I think it was. So on the 21st of March I actually had things up in my um, milk jugs. And then, um, I think it was this past week, it was actually, it actually froze. So I'm going to take you again, and you'll see in my stuff was fine, I covered it with just a blanket, because it was 20, I actually think it got down to like 24, or maybe a little bit colder than that, and they're, um, they were just fine. Uh, the milk jug with a, just a, what do you call it, a, a sheet over it and it wintered over just fine. Now I don't have things like tomatoes up. I just have um, the cold crops like the broccoli and the cauliflower and kale. Any of the cold crops, those are happy. <laughs> They're up. So, and I'll probably do more of a garden update now instead of planting. But I know I ended up with actually two this week because I didn't, I canned, but I canned stuff I already did, so it was kind of pointless, and that was my last thing, so for, now that it's April, I have new things that I'm doing, so I'm no longer canning, um, and I'm still having trouble finding wood, so, <laughs> anyway, I'll, uh, show you the little bit of footage I have of my 200 milk jugs, so you can kind of see what it looks like, I really do have 200 milk jugs, it's kind of awesome, so anyway, let's get started. Okay, so this is what, oh, probably a, a hundred, and maybe a little bit over a hundred jugs looks like, all lined up here. My goal is 200, and I'm not quite there. But this is, what is it, the 12th? Or, no, it's the 13th of March, and uh, they, some of these were started in January, and some actually have stuff in it. Let's see if I can find one that does. Let's see. one has spinach in it. I don't know if you can tell. See? I have spinach in there. This is my arugula. Let's see. It, there might be some others, but the Kohler crops, the cold crops, actually has some stuff growing in it already. So, March 12th, here's my window box. I'll show you that in a minute. This side has kale. It's the only thing that's so bad. The rest of it's pretty much all died out. So I'm ready to put those things that sprouted over there. I'm actually going to put them here. And then here's the other ones that I have. This is probably maybe 50 or so in here. This is actually from last year. It's my sweet line. But there we go. I'm really excited. I'm finally getting close to my goal of 200 because I believe I have about 50 or 60 left. So that should be next week and then I should be done. <laughs> 